Hello, good evening. Actually, gabi na dito. Kaya good evening sa inyong lahat. Good morning kung nanonood kayo sa umaga. Good afternoon kung sa hapon naman kayo nanonood itong video lesson ko na ito. So, once again, this is Teacher Bam. And I'm sorry kung hindi ako updated sa aking mga videos. Talagang busy lang ako lately. Uh, busy lang ako sa work dahil may mga dahil a grade 12 advisor ako tapos marami pa akong mga ginagawa sa school at at hindi lang naman ito iisang subject ang itinuturo ko kaya sobrang busy talaga at nag-work immersion pa ang aking mga estudyante so I have to attend to them kahit nasa labas sila ng aming eskwelahan So okay patuloy na natin ituloy na natin itong lesson na to at nakikita niyo naman sa inyong mga screen ako po ay magtatalakay tungkol sa trends, networks, and critical thinking in the 21st century at nasa module number 7 na po tayo. Okay? So, to start with, I want you to take a look at the picture analysis. Pansinin ninyo kung ano na ang nakikita ninyo sa inyong mga screen at Sagutan natin ang mga picture na to. I mean, ang mga tanong na sa susunod na slide. So, here's the questions. What is being shown in the pictures above? Or in, uh, doon sa unang slide. Ano ang napapansin ninyo sa mga larawang iyan? There are two pictures shown there. So, kung mayroon kayong sagot, please do not forget to participate. If you want, you can uh, you can Uh, comment, you can uh, you can answer or write your answer sa comment section nitong video discussion ko. Then, question number two, give a word that is opposite to what is depicted or depicted in the picture. So, magbibigay kayo ng isang word that is opposite kung anong nakikita ninyo sa larawan na iyan. And, is freedom an essential element of democracy? If your answer is yes, support your answer. Ipaliwanag nyo kung bakit yes. And if your answer is no, pwede ipaliwanag nyo rin kung bakit no ang sagot ninyo sa tanong ko sa uh, question number 3. Okay? So, and number 4, I can do anything that I want. Is the true essence of democracy. Kung sang-ayon kayo, if you agree with this statement, you have to explain why you agree. And if you don't agree with the statement, I can do anything that I want, it's not an essence of democracy, then you have to tell us, or you have to tell me why it's not, and you disagree with it. So once again, kung mayroon kayo mga sagot sa mga tanong na ito, you can uh, write your answer sa comment, sec uh, sa comment section ng aking mga videos. Itong video na to, okay? So, dito, sa baba nitong video. So, ang tatalakay natin ngayong hapon, or ngayon, is about democratic interventions. So, what is democracy, uh, democratic and what's interventions, okay? So, uh, task number two, it's a word map. You are going to uh, tell us what comes into your mind when you hear the word democracy. So give at least four words that you may associate with the word democracy. Okay? So if you say, when I hear the word democracy, I, I am thinking of the word freedom. Then that's one word, freedom. So, nagbigay na ako ng isa, kayo naman ang sum uh, magbigay ng tatlo pa. Or, if you can give at least five, ten, why not chocolate? Okay? So, what is democracy? I know hindi na ito bago sa inyo itong tanong na to. At kaya nyo na itong sagutin, lalong-lalo na kayo ay nasa senior high school pa lamang. At nasa senior high school na. Kahit yung mga junior high school students, they can actually answer this question. So, when we say democracy, this is a form of government in which the supreme power is vested in the people and is exercised directly by them 
or by their elected agents under free electoral system or a state of society characterized by formal equality of rights and privileges. So maraming mga salita dyan na tumutugma sa definition na di ng democracy. Like for example, the supreme power is vested in the people. Ang kapangyarihan ay nagmumula sa taong bayan. So another one is Free elect there's a free electoral system. Nagkakaroon tayo, na mayroon tayong election. That's one uh, characteristic of having a democratic nation. And formal equality of rights and privileges. Equality of rights and privileges. So, yun yung mga palatandaan ng isang bansa ay demokrasya. Okay? It originates from the Greek word demos, meaning people, then kratos, which means strength or power. What is democratic practice? When we say democratic practice, this is a set of principles and practices that guide how people interact and work together every day to improve their community and to create a more just society. Take note of the last uh, three sentences, uh, three words, more just society. Okay? So what are some democratic practices? So ano ano naman yung mga democratic practices? Una, there's a, a suffrage and people have the right to vote. Uh, it gives the people the opportunity to exercise sovereignty by choosing the candidates who will govern and serve them. Another one, eligible voters have the right to elect the government of his or her country by secret vote. And it's the only fair that they have a direct and in choosing officials. So ito ay mga palatandaan that there's election in one nation. Another one, okay, public uh, assembly and con consultation. There's public assembly and there's consultation. The Public Assembly Act of 1985 makes sure that the peoples exercise the right and to a peaceful assembly. Citizens have a set of rights and responsibilities including the right to participate in decisions that affect public welfare. The Act stipulates that rallies, demonstrations, marches, public meetings, processions, or parades can be held in public places to express opinions, to protest, or to air uh, to air grievances on certain issues. So take note. Uh, dahil tayo ay nasa demokrasyang bansa, pinahihintulutan yung mga rallies, yung mga demonstrations on streets, marches, even public meetings, and even parades. Palatandaan yan na uh, tayo ay nasa democratic nation. Majority rule and minority rights. It is the making of uh, binding or binding decisions by a vote of more than one half of a person who participates in an election. Okay. Okay. So, para sabihin majority, it should be 50% plus one of the total number. Like say for example, there are 100 people who participated in the election. Para masabing majority uh, majority wins, dapat ang butan ang bumoto sa particular person should be 50% plus one, like 51. Okay, so yun ang mapalatandaan that there's majority uh, rule or majority vote. Thomas Jefferson, uh, Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, expressed the concept of democracy in 1801 in his first inaugural address. He said, all will bear in mind this uh, sacred principle, that though the will of the majority is in all cases to prevail, that they, that they will or that will to be rightful must be reasonable that the minority pro uh, possess their equal rights, which equal law must protect and to violate uh, would be oppression. Another one is the conduct of plebiscite to amend or a constitutional provision. 
That's number four. The Constitution embodies the fundamental laws of the land from which all other laws should be in accord with. Okay. Tayo ay meron tayong uh, Constitution. Uh, we call it the 1987 Constitution. Kung ang mga reliyon ay they have Bible na sinusunod, tayo sa, sa bansang demokrasya, meron tayong Constitution na sinusunod na pinanggagalingan ng mga batas natin. So the change in a provision of the constitution such as increasing the number of years of term of office of the president cannot be carried without the approval of the people or general constituencies in a process called plebiscite. By the way, ang presidente natin can, o- can only be elected once pero he or she will serve for six years. Diba? A plebiscite is an electoral process for approving or rejecting a change or amendment in the constitution. Like, for example, you want to change the qualification of a person to to qualify as the president of the country. So, kailangan pagkasunduan niya ng bansang Pilipinas, ng mga Pilipino, through plebiscite. Either they would reject the, the, the change of the qualification or they want to stay, mananatili yung qualification to be a president of the Philippines. So, gagawin yan through a, a plebiscite. It is in the process of direct vote, vote say, like yes or no, or accept or reject. So, dalawa lang ang pagpipilian. Uh, accept the, the change or reject the change. Or uh, if you agree to change the qualification, then say yes. If you don't agree, then say no. That's a plebiscite. Democratic participation is the involvement or engagement with, with something which is freely done, without coercion and without uh, threat or fear. So what's the importance of participation in democracy? One, democracy provides equality and admission to opportunities for all its citizens in the government. Two, there's a check or there's checks and balances the government to prevent possible abuse of political power from all from the officials. Like for example, there, we have three branches of government: the the executive, legislative, and judicial. So these three branches of government they can check each other para ma, para mabawasan or at least masugpo yung yung anomalies or let's say corruption sa bawat government okay allow citizen to influence and suggest policies and laws through plebiscite in selecting delegates or representatives and allows the popular popular majority to oust a representative or to or a politician who hold too much power and abuse it. Okay. So, kung talagang nag na si mayor or kung sino mang public official, uh, pwede siyang tanggalin sa serbisyo ng taong bayan. Remember, the supreme power ay invested sa mga tao. So, because of that, they can actually oust the, gov- the, the official from the government service. And uh, promotes freedom where citizens enjoy human rights, allows people to engage the business and innovation. Becomes competent, firm, and stable when the state is ruled with leaders who have dedication and transparency. Provides political education to the people, telling them of the state affairs. And upholds change since the citizen can participate participate in the involvement in the government. Na, na, natalakay na natin yan kanina. So, representative and participatory democracy. Saan ang pagkakaiba nitong dalawa? Uh, democracy has actually several forms. Uh, the, the, there are two most popular types of democracy. We have the representative democracy and the other one is the participatory democracy. When we say representative democracy, 
uh, this is observed to be more popularly exercised. Ito yung pinaka-popular na, na uri ng democracy na pinapractice ng mga bansa. Uh, it is a political system where qualified citizens exercise their political power through representatives. The sovereign power remains on the citizens, but its exercise is delegated to the representative they elect. Like, for example, uh, we are in a one community or municipality. You will elect me as congressman. So, Dahil ako ay pinagkatiwala niyo to represent the people, to represent you, then lahat ng mga decision making ay pwede na akong sumali kahit mag-isa lang ako. But of course, kailangan pa rin yun ng, ng approval ng tao dapat. Okay? By extension, the citizens through their votes allow these representatives to make choices and decisions on their behalf. Ayun na nga. Dahil binoto niyo ako as representative of you, then I can make choices, I can make decisions, especially kung may kinalaman ito sa pag aapruba ng batas. So, how about participatory democracy? Ano naman ito? When we say participatory democracy, this is quite like representative democracy, which also encourages a more active and wider involvement of citizens. So, uh, Kanina, pumipili kayo ng representative to represent the people. Ngayon naman, ini-encourage na lahat ng tao ay may participation in the government. While representative democracy motivates individual citizens to contribute to policy making, itong participatory democracy naman offers more opportunities for members of the population to contribute to decision making through popular assemblies. It has variants. In a, demo in a direct democracy, all eligible citizens and qualified voters directly or personally involve themselves in making political decisions. In the Philippines, one popular demonstration of participatory democracy ay ang nangyari noong Elsa People Power noong 1986. Yun, ipinakita doon ng taong bayan ang participatory democracy kasi lahat sila... <clears throat> ay nagkaisa para patalsikin yung isang administrasyon. Through the people's direct involvement in a, in a series of protests, the, the, the dictatorial rule of President Marcos was toppled down. So, bago tayo magtapos, uh, bigyan ko kayo ng isang task. Uh, choose one of the various significance slash importance of democratic participation and write a two stanza uh, poem, rap, or song. Each stanza must have four lines. Your output will be graded based on the rubrics provided uh, below. So, para maliwanag ang lahat, uh, pipili kayo ng uh, gagawa kayo ng pipili kayo between uh, uh, poem a song or or a rap so, rap or song tapos ang ang content noon ay may kinalaman sa democratic participation remember it should have at least two stanza na poem or kanta tapos bawat stanza it should have four lines only bawal ang five bawal ang six bawal lahat okay so here's the rubrics the criteria, cohesiveness, rhythm, and creativity. So, if you go, if you, kung mafafollow ninyo na ang ating rubrics, you will get the perfect score of 15 points. So, thank you so much. And once again, if you want to participate sa ating last task, do not forget to write it sa comment section nitong video, sa baba ng video. Okay? And also, if you have questions or clarifications about this topic, you can also send me a message or pwede nyong i-comment sa ating comment section. Okay? 
So once again, thank you so much. Maraming salamat sa panonood nitong video discussion. I hope nakatulong ako para ipaliwanag yung tungkol sa democratic uh, practices. Okay? So actually, marami pang mga democratic practices na maaaring ipakita ng bawat Pilipino sa ating bansa. Sa klase ko, nagkaroon ako ng activity kung ito ba ay democratic practices or not. Parang pinapili ko sila. para I provided some activities na may kinalaman sa democratic practices. Then if it's not a democratic practices, they will answer, say, they will answer by saying no. So yun lang. Maraming salamat again. See you next time. Bye-bye!